good day learners you all welcome once again to online learning and once again it's meant your favorite subject business studies for week five and the class is basic eight and we are going to under the topic that says page setting by way of objectives by the end of the lesson the students will be able to attempt the following one definition of page setting two identification of various types of alignment and three how to set up a page and change the page orientation so let's go in last week we did a topic that says paragraphing and at the end of the lesson we are giving a, an assignment which are as follows he said number one we should demonstrate any one of the paragraphing methods of your choice by writing a letter to your principal about the current COVID-19 pandemic and how it has affected your studies two which type of method or paragraphing is mostly used by business organizations for official purpose and three what is page setting so by way of solution number one we know it's a letter therefore i expect all of you to fold your letters let's see what you have written it's an open ended assignment but number two we will say that there is no laid down rule or law that states the type of paragraphing method to be used by business organizations for official purpose. However, the fully blocked paragraphing method is widely used by business organizations around the world and have therefore be acceptable. Then three, we say, what is page setting? And our topic today will provide a solution to the number three assignment that says what is page setting. So without wasting much time, let's go into today's lesson proper. Definition of page setting. And we say page setting involves changing the page set up of a business document. That's it. Changing the set up of a business document okay and it is the use of page setup to change the page orientation size color and margin size then page setting is the changing of display settings such as font size and style what we mean here is that your page setup simply allows you to predetermine the size of your document when we talk about the size we are talking about the kind of paper you want to use it can be on a4 it can be on a3 a5 and other forms of papers when we talk about the color is just you know what the color is your, the margin your margin is talking about the allowance you leave at the top the bottom the right and the left hand side of your page to make it more uh, presentable so these are what we mean by page setup and page setting okay then what is margin we say margin is the space allowed at the border of a document to make the text more attractive and easy to understand like I've said before, margin, it can be at the top, at the bottom, left or right hand side of your document. Okay, and we say it makes it look more attractive and easy to understand. So margin can be set, okay, in these uh, various ways. Moving forward, we want to look at page setup is the limit set by the user that has to determine how a printed document or page will appear okay so your page setup mind you 
we are talking about the use of the laptop or your desktop system okay on a um, typewriter we cannot have a page setup okay it's not a feature of the typewriter but in this uh in the laptop we can have all these things predetermined so the page setup okay dialog box is usually available from the file drop down menu of any word editor program so how to set up a page the first thing you have to do using your microsoft word and seven package is that when you open your laptop okay you see the menu bar you see the menu bar on this menu bar we have the home we have insert we have page layout we have references mailings review and view okay so once you have opened your word microsoft word and seven package the page setup section can be found or assessed when you click on page layout mind i say on the menu bar you have home insert page layout references and so on and so forth so for you to set up your page just click at the page layout here you will see items like margin orientation size orientation size columns etc so don't get it wrong once you open your microsoft word package and seven go to your menu bar there you find home insert page layout and others so for you to set up your page you're not going to click on home you're not going to click on insert but you click on page layout after doing that the next thing that will pop up is the page setup section where you will now see your margin your orientation your size columns and other items so having done that the page setup window open when you click the custom margins custom margins can be found right under the margins again margin is under the page layout on the menu bar okay so by the time you go to the margin and click it gives you the custom margins okay so the custom margins by the time you click that it brings up another box okay that will allow you to set all the page setup okay what i mean by set what I mean is that the, the, the margin you want to leave at the top, the bottom, the left hand side, the left hand side, you can do all that when you have clicked the custom margin. So moving forward, we say what is alignment? Alignment is the placement of tests and graphics on so that so that they can line up properly on the page. Alignment is a placement of text and graphics on so that they can line up properly on the page. So there are basically four types of alignment and namely we have the left alignment, the right alignment. We also have the center alignment and we have the justify okay so think about the left alignment it simply means that each line will begin from the same point on the left margin that's each line okay will begin from the same point on the left margin so that's the left alignment so the same thing the right alignment means that the document in fact all the words will start from the right, uh, right hand margin okay it ends at the right hand margin so take note left alignment it begins from the left margin while the right alignment it ends 
at the same point on the right margin so they are like opposite of each other then we say the center alignment means to represent the document in such a way that each line of the written word has the same space on the right hand and on the left hand margins okay or page each line of written words has the same space on the right and on the left of the page that we call it the center alignment so it will not tend to the left more than the right and vice versa so it will be equal on both the right and the left uh, page okay then the justify we say when you justify a test along the left margin the word spacing is adjusted so that the test falls with both margins but to perform any of the above operations all we need to do is to follow the steps below very carefully one you have to alight the paragraph on which you want to set up uh, or do your page setup, align the paragraph or the page which you want to set up or work on. Then number two, you have to go to the menu bar. The menu bar, don't forget, is where we say you will find home, you will find insert, page layout, reference, mailings, and all that. Okay, so you go to the menu bar. When you get to the menu bar, you locate, go to the menu bar, then click on home. This time around, you click on home, not on page layout. Click on home, because you're going to this for alignment now, not page layout. You click on, click on home. When you click on home, you locate the sector labeled paragraph. You have in that, uh, on that home, you have about four sections you have the clipboard you have the font you have the paragraph section you have the styles section and you have the fifth one the editing section so you locate the one labeled paragraph okay so under that, under that paragraph the four steps you see the four options they are just there okay you see the right if that's what you want to click on it, may, don't forget, I've already highlighted your paragraph. So once you click on the left align, all your right ups will fall in place towards the left. If it's to the right, the right ups will fall in place towards the right, and so on and so forth. Then five, you say select the required option. Like I've said, the right, the left, the center, or justified alignment. And your document is ready. So I will say that. Let's see this. I think I say page orientation. Page orientation. We say this is concerned with how a document appears after it has been printed. And we have two, basically two types of page orientations, namely the portrait and landscape. Portrait and landscape. Okay. So the orientation button allows us to choose which direction the documents will be printed, either the portrait or the landscape. So how do we change page orientation? Now you go to the file menu at the top of the monitor. You select the page setup. Page setup. That's under the page layout. You now select the page size. You see size. You click on size. Okay, then when the size under the under the size number four, you now choose the page orientation of your choice. Okay. You can see the landscape, you can see the portrait under orientation. So you choose any of them and the document is set. So moving further, by way of evaluation, we have seen or we have learned. The meaning of page setting, we can identify all the types of uh, page alignments. We can also demonstrate how to how to 
have our orientation on, on documents and we can also explain the steps involved in page alignment and page orientation. So by way of assignment, we say what are the types of page orientations, what is the importance of page setting, and what is a memorandum. So until we meet next week, I remain Mr. Shofolue Olisa, and your assignment should be forwarded to my WhatsApp number, which is on the screen, or my email. Thank you very much.